Bunny Girl Senpei is an anime written by someone who didn't do very well in quantum physics classes, he must just find the word quantum really cool, can't blame him. Despite all the affronts committed against physics, let's enjoy it, we're not physicists, at best pseudo-intellectuals. Here we got Sakuda as the protagonist, a boy with severe psychiatric disorders who after opening the Schopenhauer box instead of a cat, he found a playboy playmate, and from then on, she became his imaginary exhibitionist girlfriend. Koga is a girl who has an arc in tribute to Haruhi Suzumiya, and I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about that. There's also Futaba, probably Sakuda's nurse in the real world, she tells him there are two of her to calculate how lost Sakuda is, realizing that he is freaking lost. Nadoka, Mai's younger half-sister, only her dad is imaginary, the mom is real, and Kaide, the younger sister that the public really likes. I still don't fully understand what's so great about her, I don't know if it's social phobia, amnesia, agoraphobia, or her age. Maybe it's cause she's easy to please, answering the phone for her is a big deal. The episode begins with Sakuda lying next to a beautiful girl. He wakes up and realizes next to him is only his right hand, I saw through your nuances director. Philosophic I'd say. He gets up and we see he's wearing Adidas pants, which makes him Ukrainian by association. So he looks at his notebook and realizes his sister drew multiple dicks there while he slept. He keeps staring. After all they're still quite good drawings. The opening begins and I admit I miss this Kimmy no Say song. This song playing with high schoolers in the background is a criticism of high school music. Alright, now we're in a big library. There's this bad CG right there. You probably haven't seen it, but now you can't unsee. Sakuda opens a book and flips through pages. There's no way he can read that fast. Then a girl dressed as a bunny appears. By the way, I just chose the episode she really dresses as a bunny for the video title to make some sense. And if you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe and like button. Nobody around pays attention to her because of the clothes. They're not sexist. I don't know what makes me most impressed, the steel nerves of that boy or my walking in heels without making any noise, pretty sure the second one counts as a talent. Alright my, now you're just being unpleasant. Only our protagonist is impolite and disgusting enough to judge her by her clothes. She approaches him and says she's not an imaginary person, but that no one can see her cause of quantum physics and brain chemistry. Oh, why didn't you say earlier? Sounds legit. A teenager half naked at a library makes perfect sense to me now. So he asks her out and she just leaves. It must hurt more to be rejected by a girl who only exists in your mind. The other day, cuz apparently after leaving the library he went to sleep. Sakuda wakes up to a cute girl saying Oni-chan in panda pajamas on his chest. He forces her to move away cuz, well, I don't see her varying her style. So this panda must stink just like Cheetos. Sakuda takes the train, and there's a guy incredibly similar to him in the wagon. Dude, he feels more like Sakuda related than Kaide. She's more like a fourth grade cousin, which makes it totally acceptable. Here we have a clear example of who's the main character, Extreme Harder Edition. This school has a quota and at least 40% of students must be animated in bad CG. Sakuda notes Mai over there and asks his twin if he can see that girl. He says there are several girls, so yes he can. Sakuda takes that as clear proof he's not going crazy. Mai has her head down, she's thinking about her biggest dream, become a real girl. I'm sure you didn't expect Pinocchio's anime girl version here. Which of these two is Sakuda again? Damn, who's the main character is really a tough game here. I see is the one on the right, I found out by the voice. Also he got eyeshadow, a tip for when you go to play with friends. This girl appears and takes Sakuda's friend away, so she gives Sakuda a bad look. I'm sorry, but she and Sakuda have an affair? Genuine question. He arrives in his class and sits right next to the window. That's a clause in the school anime contract. Looks like someone is asking for help over there. He eats a sandwich at the break. Check out how this mother is sitting. His column is shaped like a six, and how big his balls are. He has his legs so wide open that looks like he's giving birth. So this Makoto wannabe shows up to say some minor character shit like, save me Spider-Man, or some other nonsense. I don't get why this girl doesn't like Sakuda, he and that guy look so alike. I mean, only one of them has depression, sister issues, schizophrenia, bad breath, and crooked spine, but still, she goes away and I don't even remember why. Class ends, Sakuda changes shoes and returns home. Upon arriving at the station, he finds a perv taking pictures of a schoolgirl. Obviously our protagonist intervenes, cuz Sakuda is a really photogenic boy. Nothing to do with the crime though. Sakuda even asks for the guy's number so he can send nudes to him. That's what Sakuda thinks happened. Actually, the boy was sending his location to his hospitalized mother. Mai doesn't really exist, he was taking pictures of the sign. Anyway, he and Mai talk for a while, Sakuda could at least put an earphone on and pretend to be talking on the phone to people around. Well, cute phone case. They take the train and Sakuda asks why she was dressed as a bunny back in the library. He even makes it clear he's not complaining just asking. Fucking wanker. To change Sakuda's mind, Mai shows him photos where she looks totally awful. Check this one out. She had just woken up and even had the flu. So she tells about how she started her career as an artist. Sunflowers, huh? I would guess Casper but okay. Her continuing to tell her story, and how she got traumatized after not getting the role in Now You See Me. I don't know how it happened, but now she's talking about a visit to the aquarium. And why is this waiter so rude? Freaking sexist. Mai steps on Sakuda's feet. I used to find these masochistic jokes funny, but after watching Nagatoro they're just damn creepy. He's gonna be right in the way. One more person refusing to feed Mai, I think she's implying you're fat. To make her feel better Sakuda invites her to his place. Nobody can see her, she's beautiful and agreed to go to your place without a second thought. Come on Sakuda, you're smarter than that, you should realize what's going on here.
Well, I can't say he's not funny. Nagatoro fans are coming right now. The situation is getting awkward, so Sakuta decides to show a picture of his younger sister he keeps. The problem is that in the only photo he has, Kaide is badly hurt. At this point, her dangerous strange guy alert should be beeping louder than an ambulance siren. I mean, to me it kinda sounds like a threat. No worries, he does tell us what happened that day. You see, totally accurate, if the police bought this, why shouldn't I? You know, the cops are always right. And look who appears again without knocking on the goddamn door. That's why you get beaten up, I mean, that's why you fall down the stairs so often. After talking for a while she runs away for reasons that need no explanation. Nation. Then Mai goes away and leaves the bunny outfit for Sakuta. Now my friend, you have everything you need to become famous on Twitter. You see, he's even using the school's computer to not be registered with his IP. And this is where he works, apparently. This lady appears frequently asking to see Sakuta's chest, interesting fella. And here's the girl who uses science fair utensils to make coffee. Yes, that's regular coffee. Why the f*** would someone handle hot water like that? No doubt the principal saw her in a lab coat and glasses and thought, yeah, she probably fits to run the chemistry club. And now she spends the day chilling and depraving on the internet. I bet she and Bunny Sakuta follow each other on Twitter. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe, I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot, also make a friend watch this video too, use violence if necessary, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, bye.